Greetings, my fellow YouTubers. This here's the Big D again. Yes, I'm finally back on the MCU reviews. With Avengers Endgame just one week away, I'm finally going to give you my next review. The first installment of Phase 2. Now, this might be a bit of a quickie review, since I really want to reveal too much, because I've only seen most of these movies one time. But, however, I am checking out Captain America, The Winter Soldier again. Why don't you all give a review of that tomorrow? Anyway, back to Iron Man 3. Robert Downey Jr. returns as the title character and Tony Stark. Gwen Paltrow's back as Pepper Potts. And Don Shield returns as James Rowey Rhodes, formerly War Machine, now known as the Iron Patriot. Yeah. Now this time, a new bad guy named Aldrich, that's Guy Pierce from the suspense thriller Memento, as well as the 2001 remake of The Time Machine. I am going to tell you this. Excuse me, y'all. I don't really want my TV to be flashing because I don't want to get into any trouble or anything with the studio or anything if you had caught me watching Captain America. Forgive me. Anyway, Aldrich's got this strange virus and, and might cause it to spread. And, well, apparently that's not all because he's now brought a new type of photo scene, the Mandarin, who, if you've read the comics, that's actually one of Iron Man's great foes. And actually one of my favorites. Unfortunately, however, later in the movie, I wasn't too thrilled with what he turned out to be. He turned out to be an actor named Trevor Slattery. I was not impressed. I mean, come on! What in the compliment world were you thinking? Believe me, it wasn't cool at all. Naldrick was behind the whole thing. I don't know what to say. Believe me, if you know who Mandarin is, in the, if you've read the comics, or maybe watched the cartoons, maybe I or the original from the Marvel superheroes from the 1960s, or maybe you've seen the Iron Man 90 series, which I'm more fun of remembering Mandarin from that show because he appeared in about every episode, and then uh, the first season he uh, appeared in the end of the second season until the final episode two, as soon as he found every one of his power rings. That's, that was another negative I had with this movie. We do get to see some of Iron Man, but not, probably not as much, since, anyway, like I said, I didn't quite enjoy the feelings. The movie's good, though, but it's not as great as the second one, and nor is it anywhere close to as good as the original Iron Man. But anyway, in the end, it ends unlike... Other Marvel Studios flicks, sorry I have to mention their name just this once, I hope the, the company that owns them doesn't get me into any trouble, I apologize. Anyhow, they say Tony Stark will return instead of Iron Man. Heck, we will see Iron Man again in Avengers Age of Ultron. Duh! Uh even so, Iron Man 3's okay and all. I mean, it's fun, and but there was just something I wasn't too thrilled with. And anyway, now also, uh, now while I appreciate them having been Sir Ben Kingsley as Mandarin, Trevor Solari, but again, I wasn't thrilled with this guy being a flippin' actor, for heaven's sake. Ugh. If they ever try to do a much better version of Mandarin for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you better make Mandarin for what he is. Give him his flippin' power rings for heaven's sake. For, for harming me for sounding like a broken record. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about Iron Man 3. See it or don't see it. Anyway, I must go now. I gotta get back to my movie. I'll see y'all... In my next review, where I'll review another movie that ha has minor issues, and that's Thor The Dark World. Until next time, true believers, I'm the Big D saying Excelsior!
เสีย